Okay, today we're talking about atomic structure and the different particles inside. So you can definitely read this right here. Um, oh, I'm on an eraser. Read this right here. Um, you should also have your reference tables out and a calculator. Okay, so we need to find atomic number, atomic mass, mass number, protons, neutrons, and electrons. So before we do anything, maybe we should define. Atomic number is on the periodic table. Atomic mass is also on the periodic table. Mass number is taking atomic mass and rounding it. Uh, that's also protons plus neutrons. Protons is atomic number. So that's the same. Um, neutrons is mass number minus protons. And electrons should be the same as uh, protons as long as you are neutral. We'll talk about that last. So get your periodic tables out, get them ready to go, get a calculator because we might need to do some um, subtraction for that kind of stuff. So I'm getting my periodic table. Okay, so the first is hydrogen. And the atomic number is one. And if you look on the periodic table, the atomic mass is 1.00794, which means if you round that to a whole number, it's one. There are one proton, there is one proton, because that's the atomic number. So if you do mass number minus number of protons, you have zero neutrons. How can I tell if this thing is neutral or not? So see how there's no charge here? It just says H. So that means it's neutral, which means if we have one positive, our protons are positive, we must also have one electron, okay? Next one, it's still hydrogen. So this is the same, this is the same, this is the same, this is the same, this is the same. The only difference now is this is positive, which means we have more protons than electrons. We have lost one, so we have zero electrons. If you are positive, and maybe I'll write that in a different color. If you are positive, you have more protons. If you are negative, you have more electrons. Okay, back to this. Carbon, atomic number is six. If you didn't want to look it up, it tells you right here. Going to the periodic table, the atomic mass is 12.011, which means if you round that to a whole number, you get 12, six protons, 12 minus six is six neutrons, no charge is written, so we must have the same protons and electrons. The next one, atomic number for lithium is three. Atomic mass of lithium is six, 0.941. If you round that to a whole number, you get seven. Protons is three. Seven minus three is four neutrons. Electrons, notice how we have a positive one charge, which means we have one more proton than electron. We've lost an electron. So we would normally have three, but we've lost one, so there are two. The next one is chlorine. Atomic number is 17. Look up the mass, 35. 0.453. Mass number is you round it, so 35. Protons is 17. 35 minus 17 is 18 neutrons. So you see we have a negative one charge here for chlorine, so we would normally have 17 electrons, but we have one more now to make it negative one, so it's 18. Potassium, 19 protons. It tells you here on the bottom, but you could also look it up. Atomic mass is 39.0983, which means you can round that to 39. Protons again is 19, so 39 minus 19 is 20. So we don't have any charge there written, so same as protons. Magnesium, 12 protons. The mass is 24. 0.305, round that to 24. Notice this is also the mass here, that 24 written there. Um, 
protons is the 12. So 24 minus 12 is 12. Uh, there is a plus two charge, which means there are two fewer electrons. So normally we would have 12. Now I have 10. Arsenic AS. So looking for it here in the periodic table. It's number 33. Um, the mass, atomic mass, is 74.9216. Round it to 75. 33, of course, because that's the same. So 75 minus 33 is 42 neutrons. Notice we have a negative three charge. It means three more electrons than normal. So if I have 33 protons, it's 36 electrons. Silver, silver is number 47. Uh, mass 107.868, which rounds to 108. 47 protons, 108 minus 47 is 61 neutrons. The charge is the same, there's no charge here, so 47 electrons. Silver, again, this would be the same, 47, all this would be the same except for the charge. So then it says, plus one, that means we have one fewer electron. So if we have 47 protons, we have to have 46 over here. Sulfur, sulfur is atomic number 16. Then we have 32.065, mass number is 32, protons is 16, neutrons is 32 minus 16, so 16. Electrons, notice there's a minus two charge, which means two more, so 18. And then finally, uranium. It's way at the bottom, number 92. It is 238.029, which means 238. Protons is 92. Getting my calculator out for this one. 238 minus 92 is 146. And then electrons should be the same as protons because there's no written charge, so 92. Okay, if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, thanks for watching.